Hello, I'm Robin Worley, welcome to Lenscraft. In a previous video, I explained how to use the HSL tool in DxO Photo Lab 3. In today's video, I want to look at how to use the HSL tool to balance colours in Adobe Lightroom Classic. The reason I've picked Lightroom is that lots of photo editors have a similar HSL tool. To demonstrate the HSL tool, I'm going to use the image you see on screen now. I've already made some adjustments to the image tones using the basic panel and the tone curve. You can see the starting image and the adjusted image side by side here. What I like about this image are the blue and pink tones which the camera has captured well. Ideally though, I want the pinks to be a little bit more magenta and the blues to be stronger. If I change the temp and tint sliders, they affect all the colours in the image and I can't achieve the balance I want. That's where the HSL tool comes in, because I can use it to target the different image colours. In the HSL panel, you can display all the sliders vertically, or just show the hue, saturation or luminance sliders individually. Personally, I prefer the individual slider groups, but you do need to pay attention to the group you're using, because they all look very similar. When I'm going to adjust an image using the HSL tool, I like to start by understanding the colours in the image. The easy way to do this is using the luminance sliders. Move each slider left and right to see the areas of the image it affects. To reset a slider, double click and it returns to zero. In this image, the main sliders are blue, purple and magenta, although there's a small amount of red in the sky. Now, I'll move over to the hue sliders, where I'm going to try to separate the colours a little more. If you look at the blue slider, you'll see you can use the slider to shift the blues, either towards aqua or purple. Because I want to create more separation between the colours in the image, I'm going to shift the blues a little bit towards aqua. Notice that I don't need to move the slider very far to have a big effect. When I move the slider a little bit too far, the image quickly starts to look unnatural. If you want to make the effect more obvious and easier to see, increase the corresponding colour saturation slider. Next, I'll adjust the purple hue to shift it towards magenta and then the magenta towards red. This helps to separate the colours, making them appear stronger. Now that I have the colours balanced, I can look at the saturation for each of these. The final step is to adjust how bright each of the colours is. You'll notice in this image that the colours in the sky aren't obvious on the left and it's even looking a little bit blown out. I can fix this by reducing the luminance slider for the colour in that area. This helps to create a more balanced exposure. Once I'm happy with the overall colour balance, I can adjust the vibrance and saturation sliders for the image. It's best to do this only once you've applied the HSL adjustments. In this example, I only need to add a small amount of vibrance. If we compare the adjusted image to the starting image, you can see a large improvement even though I've only made minor adjustments. I hope you find this video useful. If there are other Lightroom tools you'd like to see demonstrated, please let me know in the comments below. I'm Robin Worley, you've been watching Lenscraft, I'll see you next time for another video.